Hello, and welcome back. It's been uh, quite some time since I had any kind of Movecraft update for you, but, well, I finally do. So, uh, I'm just gonna kind of briefly go over some of the changes that are coming for Movecraft. Uh, I've been talking about, a lot about this on the Airship Pirates forums, and uh, it is kind of late at night, uh, but I wanted to give you an update of what I was doing, so I apologize if, if I'm a little uh, frenetic in this video. Uh, but all right, so let, let's get straight to it. So first off, uh, this is kind of exciting. It was difficult to accomplish, uh, but let me show you what I've got. Um, several different redstone mechanisms now work on airships while cruising. Well, not just airships, any kind of craft while cruising. The way I've had to do that is move craft has taken over redstone functionality on a moving craft. So this it was it was complicated, um, but basically it handles all of the repeaters uh, processing. It handles button processing for both this stone button and also wooden ones. Um, yeah, so so it it now does that, and what that means is I can pilot this craft. I can start it cruising. Let's cruise west, and I can fire this extraordinarily simple gun. And. Boom, it fires. And you see, there goes the shell. It worked. That is awesome. So here I am in a moving airship. I can be directing, of course. Let's shoot um, that way. And by the way, you see all of these map update took a certain number of milliseconds and you see a whole bunch of them every time I fire the gun. That's because Movecraft is updating all of those uh, repeaters. Every single one of those repeaters activating uh, is a Movecraft move. You may notice it misfired there, and that still happens. Um, let's uh, let me stop this thing. So it's important to design your gun in such a way that a misfire won't cause it to blow up. If you want to reduce mis misfires and nearly eliminate them, you can shorten the width of whatever pulse you send to the gun. But usually the misfires aren't a big deal. And, and the gun still works more often than not. As long as you don't blow up your own ship, you're fine. Uh, and of course, with a gun design like this, it's not possible to blow itself up. Oh, yeah, okay, so let's talk about what kind of guns you can probably get to work and what kind of guns you may not be able to get to work. This is a very, very simple single action gun. A single action because there is a single action which both spits out the propellant, and then the same action spits out the projectile. Um, so yeah, it is a single action uh, uh, weapon, making it the simplest of weapons. In general, if you want your gun to work while you're cruising, you want it to be as simple as possible. Now this is adjustable arc. You can adjust the arc here, but it doesn't work great uh, because the timing of Movecraft updating all of the repeaters is necessarily imprecise. And I would guess as the server becomes more and more laggy, it will become unbearably imprecise. So what that means to you as a cannon designer is you should not design cannons, or let's see, let me, let me rephrase. If you want it to work while your ship is moving, you can't rely on precise timing for your cannon. What that means is if you're running a, uh, if you want to be able to change the arc, you're better off using the old style of doing that. So I'm talking about the Destroyer Mark II uh, and the Shadow Refit I, the Generation II style ships, where the way you controlled the arc of a cannon was with levers, like on the Destroyer Mark II, which probably had the most advanced version of this, uh, you had the uh, uh, big range extender and the minor range extender. Yeah, it was the major range extender and the minor range extender, and they were both on levers, and you could flip those, and, uh, and you could get three different range settings using that. So some similar system to that where you are changing the static behavior of the gun by reconfiguring it using inputs from levers or something else. Um, if you make a gun like that, it'll work great with this whole fire while you're cruising thing. 
Um, but more complicated ones with typical adjustable arcs using the timing, that's probably not going to work so well. Uh, if I cruise around with this thing, uh, the, the timing will vary considerably uh, as I fire the gun over and over. Or the arc, I should say, will actually vary significantly. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, what else about this? Oh, yeah, 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 let me show you this. So I fired there. I'll just fire a few times. See if I can get it to actually vary its arc, like I was saying. I mean, yeah, usually it's in about the same spot, but and it, also, it doesn't help that this gun is not very long range. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, you're going to want to play around with it. And I'm, gonna, I'm not done either. Uh, there's, there's several things that still don't work with this. Okay, another thing about this, you'll note, hey, look, I'm the cannon director. I take out the stick. Hey, I can still maneuver this thing. So I am now moving uh, with the stick, even though I'm the cannon director. Uh, originally, the intent of the cannon director was to force people to become to multi-crew ships to reduce lag. So you'd have like three guys on one ship. One was the pilot, the other was the cannon director, the other was the AA director. Um, and so for that reason, I wanted to make it so that the cannon director couldn't maneuver the ship or couldn't pilot the ship. But it didn't turn out that way, and it's one of those things where it didn't turn out the way I imagined. Uh, but instead of fixing it, instead of forcing people to uh, multi-crew, I kind of left it as is, and now I'm finally going back and realizing, well, all right, it's not doing what I intended it to do anyway, so why have the restriction at all? So I've just removed the restriction, now you can maneuver using the stick. All right, enough about that. Um, let's go on to the coolest part. Although, I don't know, I guess the, the whole red, redstone devices working while cruising is actually pretty cool. But all right, uh, skiffs. So um, this is, I've, I've finished the system that works with air skiffs and I'll be starting the, a similar one for airships. But basically what we've got now is a variable speed system. So that with skiffs, the more wool you have on the skiff, the faster it goes. So a typical uh, armored skiff on the server uh, will be exactly 50% wool. And I don't really like the, the new generation of armored skiffs. I've, I've been mildly annoyed at armored skiffs for a long time because in the original lore, armored skiffs were supposed to be, you know, more rare and, and they weren't as fast and as maneuverable as the other skiffs. But yeah, now all the skiffs, all the new skiffs, are, are almost completely armored, and I don't like it because skiffs are supposed to be fast, deadly, but fragile, and armored skiffs are not fragile. So, uh, so I've added this system um, so that the more wool you put, and thus the less armor you have, the faster your skiffs goes. And it's a huge difference. Let me show you. So this skiff is exactly 50% wool. If you were to count it up, you would find that there's five wool blocks there. The skiff size is 10. Therefore, it is exactly 50%. So this skiff goes as fast as a skiff would on... Uh, as a current armored skiff would, because they all have almost exactly 50% wool. So if I move around here... Yeah. You know, it's not, like, horrible, but it's pretty bad. And if I try to use the cruise, the cruise goes the same speed except in bigger jumps. So if I wait, it says, well, it might be hard to see, but I'm, yeah, I guess you can see it okay there. So you see, I'm moving very rarely, that is, I'm moving infrequently, but I'm moving a pretty big jump. And also, I've added a air speed indicator. Uh, you can add this. This, honestly, is probably something you'll have on an airship, maybe not on an air skiff, where you can't really fit everything on your bridge, on um, a uh, cockpit. But I've got them here, just so you can see what's going on. The first number is how fast you are currently going. 12, in this case. Uh, for comparison, the current skiffs on the server go... 30? 35, I think? It's late, I can't, <laughs> I can't think, but I, I think it's 35. Um, so this is going one-third the speed skiffs currently do on the server. And this is how fast a current armored skiff would go. You know, it's pretty slow. I mean, yeah, definitely pretty slow. Now this, I designed with the intent of making a kind of 
generic uh, uh, fighter like you would see in the Airship Pirate series. Most of it is wool. Uh, it is lightly armed. It's also kind of small. Uh, if So it's only size 47. You'd probably, on the survival server, you'd probably be well served to make it larger. But then again, make it larger, you're, de you're detected from further away. So, I don't know. Anyway, there's there's lots of different factors. But this is about 60... I think it was 67% wool, uh, which is where I see most typical fighters being. All right, so if I get in this thing, and I start it up cruising, I should have cleared the airspeed sign. Anyway, you can see my current speed is 24, top speed 68. See how that works? And I'm headed towards some trees. Hopefully I don't run into them. And so I'm getting going faster and faster and faster, and eventually I'm going pretty fast. So I'm now going almost twice the speed of uh, skiffs on the survival server. I'm now going to turn, and look, when I turned, I lost most of my speed. And that is by design. So when you turn, it, it kills a lot of your speed, and you have to get your speed back up. That's to discourage people from turning all the time, and it's also realistic, you know? Uh, if you turn an aircraft 90 degrees, you're going to lose a lot of your momentum. Uh, and I've almost back up to speed, and now I'm moving at about 64. I should eventually... There we go. See, so you, you, kind of, you logarithmically approach your maximum speed. It takes a long time to reach it. But, you, you know, you, you go much fast. Let's see. <laughs> the increase in speed is great in the beginning and gradual by the end. And, but, okay, so yeah, I'm, I'm moving pretty fast right now. Let me turn around so you can actually see something. Okay, so again, I killed most of my speed by turning, so I've got to wait for it to speed up again. But yeah, you can see, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty good rate. But not, you know, it's, it's significantly faster, about twice as fast as skiffs on the survival server, but it's not, like, ludicrously fast, right? Okay, now let's release this one. Now this, the, uh, the blackbird over here, uh, and yes, I was going for kind of a SR-71 kind of look. I don't know how well I succeeded, but uh, there it is. Uh, so the Blackbird here... Uh, okay, oh, I'm missing a block. Ah, forget it. Anyway, this is basically almost as... If, um, as much wool as you could possibly fit on this thing. I mean, you could get rid of this glass right here. You could get rid of that airspeed sign, um, but everything else you pretty much have to have. And just those two blocks, and that's two blocks out of 80. That's not going to make much of a difference. But let me show you how fast this thing can go. Okay, top speed is now 108. That is pretty darn fast. Uh, faster than any other method of travel. Uh, so one of the cool things about this is it does mean that uh, an actual movecraft vessel does become the fastest option for travel, with a few exceptions. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, we'll head off in this direction. Let me get up here so we can appreciate how fast I'm going. Ah! If I could move! Okay. All right, so here we go. We're going past 80, going past 90, 90, 100, and... You can just see how fast I'm going. It's pretty darn fast. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I said, you know, this is the fastest method of travel. Well, it's not entirely true uh, because, like, a boat on ice is faster, but that's kind of not really a fair comparison because your boat on ice is going to have a lot of trouble going in and out of... Uh, you're going to have to put it down and pick it up a lot, that sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that made any sense. Oh, man. Uh, anyway, uh, it's really fast. Yeah, and I'm going to hit something. Oh, yeah, if you uh, turn off your cruise, of course, that kills your momentum. So you want to try to avoid hitting things. Uh, even So turning won't kill as much of your speed as running into something or uh, turning off your cruise would. Hi there. 
don't mind me. Yeah, so, uh, so that's kind of cool. You know, if you build a skiff specifically to go as fast as possible, and it's not armed, all you've got is wool, wool, and more wool, uh, you can get some pretty high speeds. And as I mentioned, you could actually get a little higher than this if you uh, got rid of a few extra blocks. But why? Then it wouldn't look cool. <laughs> uh, yes. All right, well, there you have it. Um, I'll be rolling out of a similar system for airships, except the airship one will be based on how much lag the airship creates. Um, but you can see how it basically works. It encourages flight in a single uh, direction, you know, kind of more realistic uh, than, than what we have had on the server in the past. Uh, you, there is now limited support for cannons that work while you move. Uh, if the cannon is specifically designed to work while you move, you could make a decent cannon. I've already taken the, uh, the primary gun of the SHSF and made a version that works while you move. It wasn't terribly hard. Um, just play with it and, and you'll figure out what you can get away with and what you can't get away with. Um, yeah, there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed this. And uh, please uh, like and subscribe and I will see you later.